We we're checking in with the United Way of All Glaze County and joining us today, the Executive Director, Deb Suez, and thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. I appreciate being here. Okay, so we'll talk about the campaign and how you're going to kick it off, mm -hmm. but um, we do have an event that's going to help out with the campaign and fundraising coming mm -hmm. up. It is called Putts and Pints. Yes. Very fun name. Let's talk about what that what that's all about. We are partnering with Moeller Brew Barn and Maria Stein. They're doing this series of fundraisers on Sundays. So they reached out and said, would you like to be one of our nonprofit partners? And we said, of course we would. Exactly. And so uh, if you visit Moeller Brew Barn on Sunday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., 10% of your food order, the proceeds from that is donated to the United Way. And then he also has a uh, putter golf, nine hole putter golf set up throughout the brewery, which is really fun. <laughs> and so there's a free will donation for that. And um, anybody who plays golf, that all, all those proceeds come to the United Way as well. And if you turn in your scorecard at the end, you're in uh, for a drawing for a Moeller Brew Barn gift card. Oh, so yeah, it's a great fun. event. Yeah, mm -hmm. isn't it nice to have the community come to you and say, hey, we wanna help you out? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do yeah. that on Sunday then. Everybody yep. head to a Moeller Brew Barn. Yeah, and, it's and gonna be a beautiful a day and a fun day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly, all right. Well, that will help out with the campaign, mm -hmm. which officially, when are you gonna kick off the campaign? We'll kick off mid-October. We've set our campaign goal for $225,000. It's a little ambitious. It's about $60,000 higher than we did into 2023. But, you know, we have the capacity and, you know, obviously the need is there. Right. You know, we have nonprofit agencies that we partner with to help fund their programs and services that help our friends, families, and neighbors in need. So, you know, obviously there's a need for what we're doing. So we'll kick it off and, and try and uh, to raise that amount of money and, and be able to distribute it then to mm -hmm. our partners. Uh, the good thing is you've got a little money already in there, right? Tell us about what happened this summertime. <laughs> so we took under the United Way umbrella, we took on the Run to the Moon, which is a staple of the Summer Moon Festival in Wapakoneta. But last year, its organizer, Amy Kentner, said she was gonna retire from that. And so it was at that time I was looking for a signature fundraiser that you know we could put our brand on. Right. And so had a conversation with Amy, with the board, and we thought, you know what, let's go for it. So the 2024 Run to the Moon was a project of the United Way. All right. So, and it was a great event. Uh, we had 506 runners sign up. Oh, whoa. We had 461 on the course. Um, of course, some of them run virtually, but 10K, 5K, one miler. Um, again, another beautiful day for a run. Uh, we were at the started and finished at the Armstrong Museum. They're great hosts, and you know it's just a traditional part of that Summer Moon Festival anyway. Right. And so um, you know those proceeds now you know are kind of in the bank as we get started for mm -hmm. the 2024 campaign. As you said, it, it's it's been established, so that's kind of nice. It's mm -hmm. not like you had to start start the wheel rolling. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so that was really nice. It really was, and you know partnering with Amy to make the transition, she shared a lot of information with us, so we weren't reinventing the wheel. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's just, you know, it's been a great partnership with her and now moving forward, you know, we'll, good for you guys. Yeah, yeah exactly. we'll have it. And as you mentioned, you know, when you kick off the campaign, it's so important to get everyone involved because people are still needing the help with your agencies. How mm -hmm. many do you have as part of your United Way in Alglaze County? So we, we are partners this year with 12 plus the Dolly Parton Imagination Library, which is something that's under our United Way. Mm -hmm. But in in 2022-2023, our partners helped more than 17,000 people in Auglaise County with programs that address homelessness and food poverty and helping break the cycle of domestic violence and hospice care and education and literacy and so much more. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they're fighting for people in the community and we're doing what we can to help them win those battles. Right, yeah, exactly. So important to help mm -hmm. all those agencies. Yeah. Thanks for coming today. Good to oh, see you, Deb. Thanks so much. We appreciate being here. All right, don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next.